Want an even more in-depth look at the toy in this review? An entire gallery of images can be found at Toy News International. Just click the link in this video's description. Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Cockroach Terminator. Cockroach Terminator is one of those new characters that we've seen for the new Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon series, and it was a really fun episode, so I'm pretty happy that we got this guy in action figure form. So let's see how he turned out. Cockroach Terminator comes in the standard Nick Turtles blister card packaging, featuring that bright purple and green color scheme and fully showcasing the figure within the window box. The back of the packaging gives you a bio on the Cockroach Terminator character straight out of the cartoon series. And underneath that showcases all of the figures that are currently available in the Nick Turtles toy line. Now upon pulling this guy out of the box, there is some very minor assembly required. He does have a pair of antenna that you do need to attach to the top of his head. It's just a little peg and it's a really, really tight lock. You're going to have to kind of press those in there pretty firmly. Uh, but once they're in, they stay in. They're not really meant to be popped out once you put them in there. So it's not so bad. And that right there completes your Cockroach Terminator look ready for player display. Now the overall look of this guy is pretty great. I think he translates really well into action figure form, and I will say that this is one time where Playmates really did seem to go all out with their paint job. He seems to have a lot more paint deco than we normally see on some of these figures. Uh, specifically, you can see that in his body there, where he's kind of got all the highlights where the ribbing is and his bug body there. You can see all of the silver details of the metal parts painted on his arms, the little wires, stuff like that. It all looks pretty good on this particular figure. He's a great color scheme of kind of a light tan, a dark brown, and even kind of a reddish brown on his back there. I love the overall look of this guy too, because the story of him is that he was a regular cockroach that had a bunch of Donatello's spy gear attached to him, he fell into a vat of mutagen ooze, and he mutated into this large, half-machine, half-cockroach character who's, in a sense, the Terminator. Uh, so he's got all these little metal parts built in, you can see his eye, he's got one robot eye, one cockroach eye, he's got one metal antenna, one cockroach antenna, on his arms you can see little tubes and, you know, kind of wires and everything sticking out of him, it's a really cool look for a character overall. His back is the part that's kind of lacking in paint. Uh, you can see it's just kind of all this reddish brown color. He does have a nice silver piece of metal stuck to his back, and he does have this little design that almost looks like a logo of a sense that I didn't realize he had before. It's a neat little sculpt, so it'd have been neat to see a little bit of an extra paint wash or something to bring all these details out, but again, not so bad since the rest of the figure looks pretty good paint-wise. Now when it comes to articulation, Cockroach Terminator here has got about exactly what I expected, and it's not too bad. His head is able to turn left and right, it's a really tight joint, but you can work it out and get his head to turn that way. He's got good ball joints in the shoulder, so the arms can go all the way outwards, upwards, downwards. He's got swivels above the elbow, as well as a standard elbow bend. No wrist swivels, though. Of course, he's got that big, thick body, so there's no articulation in the body. Then his short little stubby legs basically just have little ball hinge joints there, so they can move outwards, forwards, and backwards. Uh, no boot cut swivels or foot swivels. I kind of wish he had those, too, so we can get his stances a little bit better, but as far as the articulation in his upper body, it's pretty good, and you can get some really neat poses just utilizing all of the articulation in his arms there. Now the one accessory that he has is pretty interesting. Uh, you might have noticed that there's a big hole in the middle of his body, which is kind of interesting. That's to fit his little saw blade accessory. Now in the cartoon we saw that he did have weird cybernetic parts such as a saw that shot out of his body and that's kind of what we've got portrayed in this action figure here. 
So what we've got here is this brown little saw blade attached to this kind of twisted silvery cable piece. It's all one solid sculpt, so there's no articulation. Unfortunately, the saw blade does not spin. And basically what you need to do here is you just push it through the little hole in his body, and you'll notice that that means it's going to stick all the way out through his back. Now, the whole idea here is that you're going to use your fingers to push it forward and twist it around, basically to emulate the saw coming out of his body. It's a fun little feature, especially for kids playing with them, but it's worth noting that if this guy's just going to be displayed on your shelf, he's always either going to have a hole through his body, or he's going to have a saw that's jutting all the way through his back. Now, scale-wise, Cockroach Terminator is a bit of a beefier character. Uh, Height-wise, he stands about the same size as the Turtles if you count his antenna, so that might make him a little bit smaller than he should be, but he doesn't feel like he's way too short or anything like that. Comparing him to some of the other bigger guys, you can see that he's just a little bit taller than Leatherhead, which, again, is uh, showing you exactly how small the Leatherhead figure is. Uh, and he's just a little shorter than Dog Pound, so I'm not too fussed about the scale of the Cockroach Terminator, because I don't think he was that monstrous in the cartoon, and I'm pretty much okay with the way he looks compared to the rest of the figures here. So there you go guys, there's a look at the brand new Cockroach Terminator figure. I think he's got a really cool, unique look, and it translated pretty well into figure form. I think the only real point of contention here is if you're going to like the hole with the saw blade in the body or not. It could be fun for playing with the toy, might cause trouble for collectors wanting just to display the toy, so I think that's really going to be a personal preference thing. Cockroach Terminator is starting to hit store shelves right now, so happy hunting, and until next time.